Hi guys, I am P. Madan Morgan coming to you from Jasmine Infotech in the beautiful city of Chennai for Power DSP lessons. In fact, we have been talking about aliasing and its effects on the signal and spectrum. Now it is time to see how the aliasing sounds. What I am gonna do here is to take a piece of music which is having the sampling frequency of 44.1 kHz. Then I am going to reduce the sampling frequency step by step. For example, from 44.1 kHz to 22.05 kHz, then 11.025 kHz, and so forth. Then we are going to see two cases. In case one, we are going to play the music with reduced sampling frequency which contains aliasing. In case two, we are going to play the same music with the reduced sampling frequency but an anti-aliasing filter is used to remove the aliasing. Let's get started the demo. <laughs> We have played the original piece of song which is having the sampling frequency of 44.1 kHz. The spectrum is from minus fs by 2 to fs by 2. That is from minus 22.05 kHz to 22.05 kHz. Next, the sampling frequency is get reduced to 22.05 kHz. And let's see how it sounds. We know if the sampling frequency is Fs, then the maximum frequency component Fmax that can be represented in the spectrum without any aliasing is Fs by 2. Originally, the sampling frequency is 44.1 kHz. So, Fmax is equal to Fs by 2 that is equal to 22.05 kHz. Now, the new sampling frequency Fsn is 22.05 kHz. For this, Fmax is equal to 11.025 kHz. With this new sampling frequency of 22.05 kHz, the frequency components above 11.025 kHz need to be get removed if you don't want to invite the aliasing problem. Otherwise, the frequency components from 11.025 to 22.05 kHz will fall back on the spectrum what we would call an aliasing problem. Here we are not using the anti-aliasing filter so aliasing has had its effect on the signal. But we are not seeing much difference between aliased signal and original signal because most of the musical components are below 10 kHz. Okay, let's see the signal being played with the anti-aliasing filter with the same sampling frequency. Now, the frequency components from Fsn by 2 to Fs by 2 is removed by using a low pass anti-aliasing filter. So, there is no aliasing effect. <laughs> Next, we will see the signal being played with the sampling frequency of 11.05 kHz. We saw the aliasing effect in the played music. Next, anti-aliasing filter is used to remove the frequency components from Fsn by 2 to Fs by 2. Let's see how it sounds. Let's move to some more reduced sampling frequencies.
one important point to note down here is that the sampling frequency is reduced to a very low value then it affects the voice also for example in the last case the new sampling frequency is 1160 Hz so the frequency components we can accommodate without any problem is FSN by 2 that is 580 Hz which is a very low frequency so we are only playing the very low frequency contents since the voice spectrum lies up to 4 kHz we are not hearing the voice also properly we understand now how the aliasing will corrupt the spectrum if it is not properly handled ok guys I hope you have enjoyed this demo of aliasing let's see much more demos like this in the future thank you very much bye bye